Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this video, I'm going to show you how you can start your MVC application uh, from scratch. So it might be a long video or, or maybe not, but the whole idea is to change the template for the website. So this is a video for beginners. Uh, I'm going to repeat it again. It's for beginners. If you're not advanced user, you probably don't need this. So here we go. I'm going to select the MVC3 or you can select MVC4. It won't matter. But on this one, I'm going to use MVC3. And I'm just going to use, uh, just name it, your project. Click OK. For this tutorial, we don't, it doesn't matter. But keep the internet application because um, the next video I'm going to show you something interesting about membership about the universal membership so click internet application template uh, check the use HTML5 and click OK so this template has a basic uh, CSS and some jQuery templates and but this time or by this year is really old like this jQuery is 1.5 I believe we are on 1.10 today I think anyways when you run your project when you start debugging This is the template that we get from Visual Studio. So the idea of this video is to change this layout uh, really easy. So what I'm going to do is stop debugging. And we're going to go, you can go anywhere on the internet. But I found this website that it has a lot of nice HTML5 um, templates, site templates. So the website is html5app.net. And as you can see here, there's you can even preview this uh, live. So, I mean, you can pick anything you want. So I guess some are like personal websites that you can do. So let's see what we can pick. I mean, there's we can just pick the one from the top. This one. Try this one. Actually, let's, let me see this one before we go ahead and do it. So this is how it looks. And you can get it like in a tablet and mobile. So it's pretty cool. So if you're not a CSS expert, you can start using this template really easy. So it has some effects, temp, some font. It's pretty cool, this template. Anyway, so let's use this one. So let's click free download. We're going to say, well, it already downloaded. Or you can follow uh, this person. Anyways, let me go back to, to where this at. It's on downloads. Let me bring it over to desktop. We're going to ex extract to the desktop. Okay. So here it is. So there's a few templates here with the left sidebar and no sidebar, right sidebar. So the, the one we're checking right now is this one. So this is what we're going to be using on our site. So... Uh, one thing that I would recommend is for you to get Firebug uh, for Firefox, if you're using Firefox. For Chrome, I don't know. I think there's a developer tool, but I'm using Firebug on this one. So, 
let's open this guy up well first of all we need to copy these folders into our project so let's do that now this template has already a CSS and themes so we're just gonna delete the whole thing and decide to scripts we'll leave it like that for now so let's copy this guys now, I'm not sure if you can copy this whole thing from here but I'll try well, there we go cool so we got CSS images and the JS now let's open up this in a I'm mean, using Notepad++. You can download it for free. So according to the license, you can use it for personal or commercial and commercial. So that's cool. Now we're going to go ahead and start copying what we need. So we're going to start on our layout. So our layout had all of this stuff like this CSS we had to delete it actually we're gonna delete everything let me see let me just copy this guys over here let me copy this too I'm going to keep it there. I think I'm going to use it later. And the rest, we can delete it. And we'll have that jQuery. Um, let me see. Let me go back to... Let me go to jQuery website. Let me just get the download. Where's the download? Let's just copy this. We're gonna use the CDN from a jQuery instead of having this old. That's extremely old. So I'm gonna do that. Let me see on the script. I think we had that. We don't need this anymore. That old reference. Don't need this one either. Anyway, that's optional, but I will recommend using the one dot ten. Now let's start copying. So according to this, we need this font. Let's copy this whole thing all the way to no script. So this was let's add it right here. Now as you can see. Uh, this guy is looking at the JS uh, folder, and right here we, don't, we have a JS under content. So, to find the right path, what I would do is you see this guy, and let's take this one for example, it's right here. So, let's delete it and just drag it and drop it in there. Now this tells you the right path that you need. So what you can do is just either delete this all and then just drag them over or just do this. Like that. And that's it. Now the CSS is going to be the same thing. Now the reference points to the right location. Okay. The next thing we need to do is, at least for this particular, uh, let me see how many minutes, nine minutes, it's taking a while. For this particular template, you need to go to this JavaScript file because it's looking at, this is where it's going to look for the CSS. So let's try and do this. I think I just need to do, we'll know if this works or doesn't work when we try the template. Now we need to do, so on the layout we need to render 
the body if not you'll get an error so if you're a beginner make sure you do this one I'm gonna comment that out so you can see what happens let me go to the home index and delete this let's leave it blank and run it we should get an error saying render body blah 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 here we go okay so you make sure you do that in your layout okay so let's try it again nothing shows up so that means something is wrong go back to this guy still we don't get anything wait a minute of course we don't get anything my mistake because we haven't done anything we just did the reference we actually need to copy the the HTML, the divs, and all that stuff. Okay, so you can just copy the whole thing. Well, not this section. Let me take this guy out for now. Let's see, footer, features too. So somewhere in here we need to add the render body promo features one navigation logo well it's a lot of stuff anyways let's just add it right here for now we need to play with that and here I saw that there was a class for some reason they have this in here pointing so let's do the same thing now let's try and see how this thing looks okay now it's looking much better kind of let's see yep I think we're missing something let's see the original let me close this guys We cannot do hold on. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, looks much the same now. Oops. Yep. I think we're missing this guy. Yeah, those images we don't have it on ours it's missing at the top but most of it is pretty much done as you can see now this <coughs> obviously obviously here you need to come and edit your stuff you can add your own links in there so for example the stuff that I was hiding like the menu let me see let me copy this guy this HTML helper instead of having uh, this left sidebar you can replace it where was that left sidebar right here so instead of having this link then you can put your own stuff in here so that was home what was it about and this is your home we refresh this guy so you can see now we got about and then home over here obviously you can delete the right you can take this whole thing out Refresh. Uh oh, that screws things up. So there was a break in there. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so I guess 
you can move the home to that side. So as you can see, for a beginner, this will be helpful because you can start playing with the CSS, uh, the HTML. Obviously, your website will have more than just home and about. And this one, you can change it too. But anyways, the point of this video was to show you how you can change it from the basic template uh, to any template that you see on the internet. Uh, make sure if it's free, you can uh, make sure you leave the... The person who design spend the time to design this HTML template, but this is how you can make your website, your MVC site look pretty cool and nice. So hopefully this video will give give you an idea on how you can start uh, setting up your website. So thank you for watching.